dear friends and welcome back to fun with English I am teacher Basma and today I'm going to teach you lots of secrets about English language if you like reading don't miss this episode we'll go in a short break and we'll come back see you soon Welcome back, dear friends. As I told you, today we are going to talk about reading. Look at this one. What do you think this is? It is a book fair. Yes, it is a book fair. So, today we are going to talk about book fair. It's a place where we can buy lots of books. My friends, if you like reading, don't miss this video and I want you to tell me what is this place? I'm sure you've been there before. So, do you know what, that, what was that place? It was Mishrif Book Fair. Yes, it is Mishrif Book Fair. Mishrif Book Fair is a yearly book fair that's held in Kuwait. Every year, lots of people go there to buy different kinds of books. And also, people from different countries like to visit Mishrif Book Fair. Last year, I went to Mishrif Book Fair and there I saw two big books and there were two small books too. There were different kinds of books. Can you see the kinds of books? There were different kinds of books that suits everyone. The first kind of books is the story books. The story books. Can you tell me what are these stories? The Ugly Duckling and Pinocchio. I'm sure that you, re that you read these two books before, didn't you? Pinocchio and the Ugly Duckling are famous story books and all the children like them. Who was that? Hello, Mr. Tomato. It's nice to see you. So, Mr. Tomato, have you been in Mishrif Book Fair before? So, Mr. Tomato likes reading storybooks. Do you like reading storybooks, boys and girls? Yeah, we all like reading storybooks. Another kind of books is the scary books. But I don't like reading scary books, especially before I go to bed. I don't like reading scary books. Look at this book. It's Chucky. But I don't like scary books. My sister bought an easy book about the alphabet. It was too easy for me and for her. My brother likes animals book. He bought a book about animals. The book about animals was too easy for me, but it was difficult enough for my brother. Look at this word. My brother read this word in the book, but it was too difficult for him. Can you read this word? It is too difficult. 
let's cut the word and read it. Funny, copterous, funny copterous. I can read it. It's not too difficult for me. It might be a little difficult for you. By the way, do you know what a phenicopterus is? The phenicopterus is the name of the flamingo's family. Okay, I like reading at bedtime. So, when I was in Mishnah Book Fair, I bought these two books. The Avatar and Titanic. They are famous story books, but they are for adults. I am old enough to read these two, two books. They are too difficult for you, but they are difficult enough for me. They are too difficult for you, but they are difficult enough for me. You have to be old enough to read these two books. So maybe after two or three years, you will be able to read these story books. Look at this name, James Cameron. Who is James Cam Cameron? He is the writer of the two books. He is a famous writer of story books. So James Cameron is the writer, the person who wrote the book. And look at, look at this man. He is Abdulaziz Hussain al Turkait, and he is a famous Kuwaiti writer. He wrote too many books, and he is one of those people who established the Kuwait University. And that was all about my visit to book fair last year. I bought too many books. Now, I have a piece of advice for you when you go to the book fair next year. First, you must buy a good book. You must buy good books. And also, you must think carefully before choosing any kind of book. Don't choose a scary book. It will be horrible for you. You might not be able to sleep at night. You also must choose a suitable book, a book that is not too difficult for you or not too easy because you are in fifth grade. I cannot wait for next year to go back to Mishrif Book Fair. Okay, next time when I go to Mishrif Book Fair, I might buy another difficult book. Do you know what's this book? It's Harry Potter. Yeah, I like reading the book about Harry Potter. It's too excited. Do you know the writer of this book? Can you guess? She's John Rowling. John Rowling is the writer of Harry Potter. And she's a famous writer too. Look at these books. They might be too difficult for you, but they are difficult enough for me. How about these books? I want you to decide if they are too difficult or difficult enough for you, or might be too easy for you. Let's see. The first book is Cinderella. Do you think it's too easy? Or difficult enough for you? Don't, don't forget that you are in fifth grade. Cinderella might be too easy for you. The second book called Wings. What do you think? I think this book might be difficult enough for you. You are good students and you can read this book. The third book is Super Wise. What do you think? I think it's easy for you. And the last one is A Hidden Life. What do you think? I think you should be old enough to be able to read this book. Now, my friends, 
we are going to listen to a story about Aunt Yasmin and the family. And I want you to give me a suitable title for this story. Are you ready? Let's listen. Unit 6. A Visit to the Book Fair. Pages 24 and 25. Exercise 1. Listen and read. It's the book fair today, Mum. Can I buy a book, please? Yes, of course. But you must buy a good book. I know. I'll go with them. I'll help them to buy good books. Do you like reading? Yes. I love reading. Books are wonderful. I read a lot. I read at home, in the car, in bed. What kind of books do you like? I like all kinds of books. Look at this lovely book. It's by my favourite Kuwaiti writer. Who's that? His name's Abdulaziz Hussein. What do you think of this storybook? I might buy it. I think it's too young and too easy for you. It isn't difficult enough. How about this one? It might be too scary. I don't think you're old enough for that kind of book. Which book would you like? I'd like to buy this one, please. Ah, yes. Abdulaziz Hussein was a very good writer. He's my aunt's favourite Kuwaiti writer. The book is for her. That's very kind of you. Where's Nasser? There he is. I bought this for you, Aunt Yasmin. Thank you, Nasser. Look at the name. Oh, look. It's the book by Abdulaziz Hussein. Nasser, you are too kind. So, after listening to the story, can you give me a suitable title of that story? Let's check the choices. One, kind of books. Two, a visit to the book fair. Three, Aunt Yasmin and the family. Let's see how can we choose a suitable title for a story. Kind of books. Did the story was about only kind of books? No, they talked about different things, not only the kind of books. Let's check number two. A visit to the book fair. It might be suitable. A visit to the book fair because all the story was about the book fair. Let's check number three. Aunt Yasmin and the family. Was the story about only Aunt Yasmin and the family? No, it wasn't. So, the suitable title is A Visit to the Book Fair. And that was one of my secrets, how to choose a suitable title for a story. Do you remember what happened finally? Nasser was so kind. He bought the book for his aunt. He was so kind. Do you think so? I like buying books and gifts for my friends and family. You should be so kind and you can buy a book for your favorite friend or your sisters or your brothers or might be your parents. You will be so kind. I'd like to buy a book for you, Mrs. Bethna. What do you like to read? Oh, Mr. Tomato, you are so kind. I like to read different kind of books. I like to read story books, and I like to read science books, too. You are so kind, Mr. Tomato. Thank you so much. Okay, my friends. Now, Let's remember what happened in the story.
Can you remember what happened? Let's see. Aunt Yasmin went with Sarah and Nasser to the book fair. Then Sarah wanted to buy a storybook. Then Nasser bought a book for Aunt Yasmin by her favorite writer, Abdul Aziz Hussain. And that was all about our story today. This coffee is too hot to drink. It's not warm enough for me. Oh, Mr. Tomato, again, he wants to drink a coffee, but it seems it's too hot for him. He has to wait a while for the coffee to be warm enough to drink. You have to wait, Mr. Tomato. The coffee is too hot for him. Look at this boy. He's funny. The shirt is too big for him. It isn't small enough. He can't wear this kind of shirt. He should be old enough to be able to wear it. Now, my friends, it's time to play. Do you like playing? Yeah, I like playing too. The first game is about your memory. I will see if you can remember very well or you can't. Let's remember some words that we learned today. Look at these pictures. We learned the word book fair, too small, storybook, scary, and the writer. Do you want me to repeat them? You have to remember the words. First one is book fair, then too small, then storybook, scary, and the writer. Now, I will count up to 10 and you have to remember the word because I'm going to hide them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, be ready, ten. Okay, my friends, you had your time and now I want you to remember what was under the color. Let's start with the blue color. What was under the blue rectangle? Can you remember? Book fair, that's right. Next, what about the yellow square? What's under the yellow square? Too small, perfect. What about the green one? Ready? Yeah, it's a storybook. And then we have the red square. What's under the red square? Can you remember? Mm, can you? You need more time? I can tell. It's a scary. Let's check the answer. Yeah, that's right. Scary. I know the answer. Can I guess, please? Oh, Mr. Tomato. He wants to play with us. Do you know the answer, Mr. Tomato? Writer. Writer? Let's see what's under the purple one. Is it writer? What do you think? Yeah, Mr. Tomato was correct. The word writer. Writer? That's right. Okay, next game is Let's Organize. Let's see what this game is about. I have different kind of books and I want you to choose a suitable book to be inside the white square. The first kind of book is the scary books. The scary books. Can you help me to find the scary books out of this collection? Let's see. What about number one, Harry Potter? Is it scary? I don't think so. Two, 
The Titanic is a scary book. The Titanic is not a scary book. What about animals? Animals is not a scary book. Number four, The Ugly Duckling. No, it's not a scary book. What about nightmares? I think nightmares is a scary book. Let's put it inside. Number six, wings. Doesn't look scary. What about number seven, Chucky? I think Chucky is a scary book. And number eight, scary stories. That should be a scary book. Can you see any other scary books? No. So the first set is about scary books. Don't read scary books. Second set is the story books. Can you find the story books? Let's find them together. Number one is Harry Potter. It's a story book, yeah. Let's put it inside. Number two, the Titanic. It's the famous story about the Titanic. So it's a story book. Number three, animals. Doesn't look like a story. Four, the ugly duckling. Yeah, it's a famous story too. So it's a story book. Then wings. Yeah, it looks like a story book. Let's put it inside. So we have four story books. Thank you for helping. What about these two books? Animals and Invention. What do you think? They are not scary books and they are not story books. They are science books. We can learn different things from these two books. They are science books. Let's put them inside. Okay, my friends, it's time to play puzzles. Do you like to play? Yes, I like to play. Mr. Tomato wants to play with us again. Welcome, Mr. Tomato. You can play with us. Let's see what do we have here. We have lots of puzzles piece. And there are two missing pieces. Look at the picture. It's hot water. Let's read the first sentence. The water is too hot or cold. Which piece is the suitable one? What do you think? Hot or cold? The water looks hot. So, the water is too hot. That's good. And it is not cold enough to swim in. It's not cold enough to swim in. Let's see this one. Look at that boy. He's too short and he wants to play basketball. He is too short or enough short. What do you think? He is too short to play basketball. He is not tall enough to play basketball. He should be old enough to play this game. When you play basketball, you should be tall enough. Oh, look at this one. This question seems too difficult. The question is too easy or difficult. The question is too difficult. Or it might be too easy for you, but is it, it is difficult for me. It is not easy enough. It is not easy enough. Games are fun. Can we play more? I know that games is fun and we can play more games. But I want you to I want to teach you one of my top secrets as I told you before. Let's see. In English, we have vowels vowels and this picture contains all the vowels in English. Let's see. The first vowel is a uh, or it could be a. Uh. The second vowel is o uh, or it could be o. Oh. 
This is the vowel e. e. And we have the vowel a. Last one is the vowel e. e. Or it could be I. Now, my friends, we have a game depends on those vowels. Don't forget them. Let's play puzzles in those vowels. Look at this picture. What do you think? What's missing in here? He's a writer. That's right. He is a writer. Can you remember his name? He's a famous Kuwaiti writer. Do you remember his name? I mentioned his name two times in this episode. And Aunt Yasmin likes his books. He is Abdul Aziz at Turkate. That's right. So, the word writer, there is a missing vowel in here. Can you help me finding the vowel? Let's check. Can we use the vowel a? Writer? No, it's not writer. What about o? Is it a writer? It's not a writer. What about a? Is it a writer? Couldn't be. What about e? Is it a writer? Yeah, that one will work. It is a writer. That's right. Let's see the next one. What can you see? It's a story book. Yeah, it's a story book. And let's find the missing vowel. What do you think? Starry. We cannot use the letter A. It's not a starry. What about I? Is it a starry book? No. What about E? The letter E. Let's try that one. Starry book. It's not a starry book. What about the letter U? It sounds A. Oh, let's try that one. Starry book. It's not a starry book. It's a story book. The vowel O is the suitable vowel for this word story. So, my friend, that's all what we have today. I wish if you like this episode and if you like reading, don't miss the next episode. See you later.